ladies we're gonna talk let me light up because this video might get me canceled the amount of females that follow me might decrease but i'm gonna say what i gotta say control your pussy yep i'm gonna say it as it is so if you have any child around remove them because i'm gonna be using no appropriate language control your pussy i'm gonna say it again queen control your pussy control your pussy do you know why I'd, i i say it most of the time in all my videos even in person sex is exchange of energy sex i don't the the moment you will realize the importance of sex you will regret most of the people you have had sex so far or you will wish you didn't have sex with nobody at all sex is an exchange of energy in the in the sense of whoever you are fucking whoever you are having sex with you are having sex with that person's angels and that person's demon it is not a lie when you are having sex with somebody you are exchanging energies which means the person's traumas insecurities fear negativity happiness joy whatever that person has internally goes to you because you guys are exchanging energy and also because sex is that that is the direct way somebody has to have access to your spiritual community to have access to you internally and once somebody already have access to you internally that person can destroy you or that person can build you so can you be disciplined with your pussy can you can you control your horniness because whoever you are having sex with today can be the reason you are depressed tomorrow whoever you are having sex with today can be the reason you are uh, with trauma with insecurity with low self esteem tomorrow the person you are fucking today can be the reason you are failing tomorrow it is not a joke because how many of you right you you are doing good with your life why succeeding minding your business as the queen that you are and then once you started fucking somebody things started going sideways you you never wonder why 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 was that because the person you have bring into your life the person that you have fucking that energy is detrimental to you that that energy is killing you casual sex casual sex is killing your soul are you a sex toy to be fucking whoever and fucking whatever? No, you are not a sex toy. And plus, it's, it's a sense of self-respect. Because you respect yourself, you respect your worth, you respect your body because your body is a temple. Now you understand that not anybody is supposed to have access to it. You are, you are not a store that somebody can come buy something, pay you and fuck you. That somebody, that somebody can come, oh, let me me in the corner, oh, see you tonight. I, is, 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 is your pussy for sale? Are you making an appointment for your pussy? Is, is, is your pussy your business? No, so be disciplined. Right? And, and whenever I say, people want to attack me, like, oh, why this, why that? No, excuses. And because if you control your horniness, if you can control who you are fucking or who you are not fucking, that energy you are saving, you can invest that energy into something else. You can invest that energy into loving yourself. You can invest that energy into healing your traumas. You can invest that energy into, put that energy in building something, in educating yourself. Because when you are, when you, when you are having sex, right, it's exchange of energy. Imagine if you can preserve that energy winning you for the longest time. That energy go back to you. And the more energy you have, the more things you can do. The more you can enjoy life. The more you can love yourself. The more you can heal. But if you are around, you, you don't conserve your energy. You are constantly putting your energy out to him, to him, to him, to him. When are you putting your energy back to yourself, queen? And also, be disciplined with your pussy because nowadays, you don't know who was the last person somebody fucked. Or you don't know the, the 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 state of somebody health right which means a lot of disease are around a lot of disease are around and since you don't know because 
if you marry somebody today how you gonna know if that person has a has a disease or that person is sick or has an, or has hiv or something that can transfer to you how are you gonna know if you didn't take time to know the person made you today fucked you today no that's not how it is and 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 and, and being when when you are walking around right and there is a group of guys and everybody's like, oh, I already fucked this girl. Ah, oh, I already fucked her too. Oh my God. My cousin fucked her. Oh, my brother. Oh no, my friend in high school. Being the most fucked female in a group is not a flex. It is not a flex. And because, yes, I get it. You're like, oh my God, look at this Zari. He's so handsome. He's so cute. Oh yeah. But that doesn't mean he cares about you. That doesn't mean he respects you. That doesn't mean he loves you. You're going to have sex with people who don't even care about you, queen. For what? Don't you love yourself enough to control and be like, no, I know I deserve better and I'm not going to fuck you? C can you say that? Are you, are you, are you going to die for declining a dick? You will not die. Be disciplined with your pussy. Yes, I get it. You're going to make this man fine as hell. Oh my God. Oh, Zari, handsome. Woo, king. What? Yeah. But does that mean he gonna respect you? Does do, does that mean he has a, a good intentions towards you? No. But if you go because he's so handsome, you're gonna open your paradise. You're gonna open your legs and let him fuck you. Then tomorrow you're gonna cry. Oh my God, he's not calling me. Oh my God, he's not picking my answers. Oh my God, he's ignoring me. Did he tell you he wanted something serious with you? Did he tell you he cared for you? Did he tell you he want you to call him after that one night? If the answer is no, I'm sorry. And that too because since female, we are more in touch with our emotions naturally, the feminine energy, we get attached easily, emotionally. Which means they, if, if I'm a guy and you are a girl and you and I fuck, there is a, a higher chance of you catching feelings than me. Because whenever we are having sex, uh, females emotions are high uh, all the time even more when you are horny your emotions are the are the strongest when you are horny i know what i'm talking about right and then you're gonna catch emotions with somebody who doesn't care about you in the first place with somebody who's emotionally unavailable to you do you see how much pain you are bringing to your own self no really do you see because you're gonna fuck somebody you don't even know if that person cares for you. You don't know what are the intentions of the person. You don't know if the, the, the person you are fucking to, they have the type of self-respect. If the person is, is positive, if the person cares for you, if the person has some type of self-discipline, if, if, if the person is a positive person, you don't know. But if you go around fucking whoever, fucking whatever, you are destroying your own self. You are destroying your own self. So be disciplined. Be disciplined with your pussy. Control your horniness. Because if you don't control your horniness, if you don't control who you fuck, that will lead you into places, situations, and with people that will, you're going to cry later on in life. Oh my God, after that one night, oh, oh my God, you're going to tell your girls, oh my God, you know what he did to me, this position, this and that, but now he's not picking up your phones. Who's crying? You. He doesn't care. He wanted you for sex. You give it to him. Now he's moving on with his life. He's happy, succeeding, moving on. Now you are stuck. Why? Because you are emotionally attached to somebody who's emotionally unavailable to you, queen. Is that what you think you deserve? I don't think you deserve that. And also because you, you must be disciplined with your pussy. There is a lot of handsome people in the world. There are a lot of cute faces, cute body in the world, but how many beautiful minds? How many beautiful souls? How many beautiful hearts? There is amazing bodies, right? That person know how to dress, how to talk. That person go to the gym, six packs, body goals. He's so handsome, he's this and that, right? There is a lot of beautiful faces, but how many beautiful souls? How many beautiful minds? There is a lot of handsome, amazing bodies, but how many amazing hearts? How many amazing minds? 
you must be disciplined with your pussy because not because somebody is handsome that means that the person has good energy to offer to you not because somebody is handsome it means that, that person respects you or even cares for you so if you go around fucking whoever fucking whatever just because they have a, a cute body or, or, or a cute car or a cute face you too you have a cute face you too you have a cute body so have some have some type of self-respect and be like no i ain't gonna fuck you i know i want to but if i fuck you today i might regret that later on in life and those things you must be willing to know those things no matter how oh because that person has a has a lamborghini because that person make billions per month you too you can have a lamborghini queen you too you can make billions in, 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 in your business, in life, but you will not make billions if you are fucking whoever and fucking whatever. You will, you will not make billions if you don't respect yourself. You will not make billions if you don't have any type of self-discipline. Right? Because if you are fucking whatever, you will spend your time thinking about the next time you are going to fuck, which time you're going to have to think about your business, to think about ideas of growing yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Sex is everywhere but not love sex is everywhere but not respect self is everywhere but not positivity sex is everywhere but not loyalty sex is everywhere but not kindness sex is everywhere but not love do not don't confuse it though two different those are two completely different things because anybody can fuck you good but how many people can treat you good Anybody can make you come, but how many people can empower you, can support you, can invest in you? Do you ask yourself those things, Queen? Do you? Because it's easy. Oh my God. Oh, you give me the best sex of my life. Oh, wow. I can't wait to do it again. Right? Really? So because that person fuck you, you're going to keep being with him. And when I tell you sex is exchange of energy, another, another example how many people how many females you have seen that they can leave a guy just because the guy fuck her really good why because what so tight the sex was so good that the female is already attached emotionally and the female feels like if the guy disappeared from her life she's going to die even if the guy is treating her like a piece of shit she will remain there just because of sex that's because the person fuck you good no, queen, no. No, because the person fucks you good, it means that you have to stay there. So, and you have to handle, he cheating on you, he lying to you, he not respecting you. No. Have self-respect to get up whenever there is no more respect. There is no more love. Serve in the table. Get up and leave. And create or build your own table where there is love. There is respect there is kindness there is positivity be disciplined with your pussy queen be disciplined with your pussy i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna stop saying it because why right, when you're having sex with somebody that person has a direct access to you internally have you noticed after you you fuck somebody you or you you're gonna you you can feel it you you can sense the energy right because the person already been inside of you so do not give access to you to yourself internally to everyone don't be available to everyone because not everyone is going to come to your life to love you to bring positivity to bring respect to bring loyalty and to bring more light to your life some people will come to your life to destroy you to abuse you to manipulate you to put you down to make you fail, to make you cry, to make you see yourself as somebody who's not worthy. Some people will come to your life just to make sure you don't succeed. Some people will come to your life to make sure that you dab yourself, you dab your world, you dab your potential. So be selective with the energy you allow into your life. You are, you are not made to be with everyone. Oh no, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to go here and treat everyone as a piece of shit because you don't want you don't, you don't deserve to be with everyone. No, treat everybody with kindness, but understand that not everyone that comes to your life come with the best intentions possible. You see a face, you don't see their heart. You see a beautiful body, you don't see their intentions. You don't see their mindset. You can see their soul. 
So again, queen, be disciplined with your pussy. And, and every time you're thinking about fucking somebody, ask yourself, ask yourself this, ask yourself this question. Do I trust this person? If I die today, will, will, will this guy be somebody that I let my, cha my child whew, burn myself? But it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm still queued up. So yeah, ask yourself this question before you, before you fuck somebody. Ask yourself the question. If I fuck this person, do I, do, no, no. Do I trust this guy with my children? Do I trust this guy that if I die today, my children would grow in the most healthy, positive way? If the answer is no, don't have sex with him. Don't fuck him. Simple. And it's, it's, it's not a, be like, oh, what's your body count? Oh, 20, 13, 15, 14. Do you think that's a flex? <laughs> no, it's not. I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is, queen. I know you are a queen. I know you want so much more in life. I know you know your worth, your power, your potential. But if you go around fucking whoever and fucking whatever queen, you will not reach your higher self. You will not be able to get up every day and see yourself as the powerful queen that you are because something, because you cannot lie to yourself. If last night you, you fucked two different guys, that's not that, that going to go out of your mind. If you have spent the past month only having sex, hooking up, wasting your time and your energy with people that don't even care about you, your mind won't let you sleep. So help your mind and give your mind reasons to believe in you, to support you, to know that you know your worth, you know your potential. And a way of doing that is by you being disciplined. That no, I'm not a sex toy, so I'm not going to be a one fucking whoever and fucking whatever. Every time you're thinking about uh, fucking somebody, I already told you. Ask yourself, do I trust this person that if I have a kid and I die today, this guy can make sure my kid grow in the most supportive, healthy, and happy way? If the answer is no, don't fuck the person, queen. Don't fuck the person. You are horny, okay, go work out. You are horny, go read a book. You are horny, go to sleep. You are horny... Think about your ideas, your business, your goals. You are horny, uh, read a book, right? You are, you are horny, dance, start dancing. You are horny, clean your room, clean your house. You are horny, write, sit down and write your goals, write your dreams, write what you want about your life. You are horny, go work out, work, lift weight. Make sure your, your body is the body you want. Because you're not going to be here wishing for a body, no. Don't wish for a body, create it, work for that body that you want. You are horny, go drink water and go back to sleep. Because even though I know, right, that what, what I'm saying here is just my belief, just my opinion. But remember, you are allowed to take it or to leave it. You are allowed to live your life on your own terms, not on my terms. Do not even, man, if I don't even listen to me, do you? But I'm, I'm going to keep repeating it. Be disciplined with your sex life because you are not. A sex toy and because the person you fuck today can be the reason you are depressed tomorrow the person you fuck today can be the reason you are failing tomorrow the person you fuck today can be the reason you are depressed you don't have no type of self-worth self-love or self-respect so be disciplined with your pussy i already told you you horny go read a book horny go work out horny spend time loving yourself spend time alone right queen spend time alone there is nothing wrong of, of, of you being alone, you being single. Nothing wrong with that. If you are single, doesn't mean doesn't mean you are worthless, that you are useless. Nothing wrong with being single. Being single is a flex too. Being single is a better flex than fucking everyone and fucking whatever, by the way. Oh yeah, I said what I said. Right? Spend time with yourself, queen. If you are holding, every time you're going to be holding, sit down and spend time with yourself. When was the last time? You spend some time with yourself. 
just thinking about your life, just analyzing your thoughts, your behavior, your mindset, your habit. When was the last time? Because you're scared of being alone. Is that is that is that what the case is? That you can be alone. That's why you're gonna go around fucking the first guy that's gonna present you with what? With attention, with money, with the bare minimum. Don't buy into that. Anybody can offer you the attention just because they want a piece of your pussy. Yeah, I say it. Anybody can offer you money because they want a piece of your pussy. Anybody can offer you anything just to have a piece of your pussy. But if you say no, just because you know your word, your potential, and you prefer to be alone than to give your pussy to a somebody that doesn't care about it, that's power right there. You are a powerful queen right there because you have discipline on yourself. You have discipline on your emotions. You have discipline on your pussy. And that's power right there. Somebody who, who can control their sex desires is a powerful being. Spend time with yourself, queen. Get to know yourself. Take yourself on dates. Me, I take myself on dates. I, I, I buy myself gifts. I talk myself nicely every day. I, I tell myself how much I love myself, how powerful, how amazing, how strong, how wise, how beautiful I am. I treat myself as somebody who is important. I treat myself as the love of my life. You will never see me talking shit about myself. Never. I wake up every day. I make sure I'm good. I make sure I'm happy. Because I love myself. <laughs> like, sh shouldn't you love yourself? So you must spend time with yourself. So you can know to know yourself. If you don't know who you are, you're going to end up being who anybody else tell you to be. But that's not the point. That might be to another video. The, the factor here is be disciplined with your pussy. And when guys want to fuck you, woo, 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 they will tell you everything. They will even tell you that they are the ones who, who invented the sun. <laughs> They're going to tell you that they can make you into the next, the, the, the next bi billionaire. <laughs> they can even tell you they are, they are the cousin of Batman. They are the cousin of Super. <laughs> They can be like, oh, uh, do you know I'm the brother of Black Panther? <laughs> Not because they want to fuck you. <laughs> be disciplined with your pussy, queen. If you are not disciplined with your pussy, I'm going to say it again. If you are not disciplined with your pussy, if you are not disciplined with your sex life, if you are not disciplined with your sex life, <sighs> Yeah, you know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. If you are not disciplined with your sex life, and if you are around here fucking whoever and fucking whatever, your if you cannot control your horniness, your horniness is going to take you into places, situation, and with people that you will regret later in life. Be disciplined with your pussy. Be disciplined with your pussy. Be disciplined with your pussy. And I'm going to say it again. If you cannot control your horniness, if you cannot control your sex desires, are you in control of yourself? If you don't control your sex life, your sex desire, your pussy is going to take you into situations with people that you will regret in tears later in life. Be disciplined with your pussy.